It's Friday, the 7th of January. Happy New Year. And welcome to the Qatar Quick Weekend Edition brought to you in conjunction with Mahaba. Today you find us in the brand new Steigenberger Hotel. And we're going to be taking a look around here in just a few moments. But first of all, here's a recap of last week's news. Starting with last Saturday, when the Lucille Tram began its preview service. Lucelle Tram connects the Doha Metro through two interchange stations, one at Lucelle and one at Lectafia. The network includes four lines with a total of 25 stations above and below ground. And the preview service will see six stations on the Orange Line come into service. Passengers can use existing travel cards on both the Lucelle Tram and Doha Metro with no additional costs but passengers must always remember to tap in and out using the validator on board the tram to avoid extra charges. Sunday, and the headline is that COVID-19 patients with mild symptoms can safely isolate at home. And there's a warning that the COVID-19 caseload is likely to go up in the coming weeks. However, there is currently no bed shortage for COVID care, a Hamad Medical Corporation official has said. On to Monday, and the Qatar Tribune lead with Qatar at the beginning of COVID third wave. 13,000 expired frozen food packets seized. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry has seized around 13,000 packets of expired frozen foods that were repackaged with new expiry dates in various regions of Qatar. And self-driving minibus trial begins in Qatar Foundation's campus. Over the next 10 days, the Level 4 autonomous minibus trial will take place within Qatar Foundation's Education City. Tuesday and the Ministry of Interior extends grace period to correct the legal status of expats until March 31st. The earlier deadline was December the 31st. Vaccination centre at Bougarn, all set to open on January the 9th. The centre will provide capacity to administer up to 30,000 vaccine doses per day. And 14 health centres provide drive through PCR test services. Wednesday now and 472 people were referred to prosecution for flouting COVID safety norms. 363 for not wearing a mask, 5 for not downloading the Etaraz app, and 104 people for not adhering to safe distancing. And there's growing proof Omicron is causing only milder symptoms, says the World Health Organization. More and more studies point out that Omicron is infecting the upper respiratory tract. On to yesterday's news, and the cabinet imposes some COVID curbs. The new measures will come into effect from January the 8th. Masks must be worn in both open and closed public places. Children under 12 years old are no longer allowed to enter mosques. Bus transport at a maximum of 60%. Metro and public transport will operate at 60%. Driving schools, 50%. Theatres and cinemas will continue to operate at 50%, commercial complexes 75% and only people who have completed COVID-19 vaccine doses can enter. Popular markets can operate at 75% capacity but children under the age of 12 years old are not allowed to enter. The new drive through COVID testing centre opened in Lucille. The 10-lane drive through centre will provide PCR tests with capacity to swab up to 5,000 people a day. The centre will be open seven days a week from 8am until 10pm. And the Ministry of Education and Higher Education has announced that distance learning will continue until January the 27th. Now for this morning's newspapers, and a World Health Organization chief has said that the more infectious Omicron coronavirus variant appears to produce a less severe disease than the globally dominant Delta strain, but it should not be categorized as mild. The Ministry of Public Health caps prices for COVID-19 rapid test kits at 35 reels and 25 reels. They have endorsed the use of rapid antigen self-test kits for at-home testing. 
The Ministry has explained that while the results of the rapid antigen self-test kits may not be used for official purposes such as pre-travel testing or changes of status on the ETERAS app, they are a valuable tool for people to check their COVID-19 status at the convenience of their home. That's all for the news this week. As usual, I'm going to go and grab some breakfast while you take a look around the brand new Steigenberger Hotel here in Doha. The Germans are recognized the world over as a nation of designers, architects and engineers. So it will come as no surprise that the Steigenberger Hotel is beautifully designed and built to the highest standards. The rooms are absolutely perfect. The gym is equipped for performance and body enhancement, laid out for optimum usability. The pool and its surroundings crafted to relax and re-energize you while making you feel absolutely spoilt. And it's not just their engineering that they're famous for. Their culinary expertise produces some of the very finest dishes on the planet. And the Germans know how to do breakfast properly. Just look at this spread of cold meats, cheeses, pastries, and of course, the famous German breads. I asked Chef Jens to tell us all about one of the 20 German breads he bakes right here in his restaurant, the heavy and wholesome Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel is a very famous bread from Germany, from the northern part of Germany, area of Hamburg. It's a typical bread that has a multi-grain, squeezed, soaked with a little bit of water, some flour, and then yeast, and it's baked over a time from 24 hours. Maturing, the salt and the seasoning is very important. You eat it with some smoked eel, with some roast beef. Just a fantastic bread, it was very juicy, even it's baked 24 hours, very unique to Germany and the northern part. Lucky we have some delicious cold cuts ready to enjoy with it. Now it's down to the lobby to pay a visit to the Avenue Cafe for a spot of high tea. You can have a single piece if you like or go for the unlimited option where you can indulge yourself to your heart's content. And although not shown here, there are some magnificent teas to wash these delights down with. Come and experience the newest hotel in Qatar for yourself. The Steigenberger Hotel, Doha. Find all the information you need on Qatar in Mahaba's up-to-date e-guides. They're completely free of charge and can be found on their website, mahaba.qa forward slash e-guides.